Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zangi Muemi from quantbuild.co.ke. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing how to create a custom truss using the ArcCAD Truss Maker tool. If you are new to this YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. If you have already subscribed, thank you for coming back and welcome and let's get started with our video tutorial. So as you can see on my screen, I have some uh, trusses that are displayed and I've been able to create these four trusses. Uh, they are custom trusses and this one that you can see here is from uh, the objects library. So what I will do, I will erase everything that is on my screen. Then we will go back to the, 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 the floor plan view. And if you go to design up here, and under design tools, you select object. Then you go to the object setting dialog. There is a search bar up here, the one that is highlighted. If you search here truss, you will notice that we have uh, all these options for the types of trusses that are custom built or rather they, they are inbuilt. When you install Archicad, you will get access to all these uh, the bowstring truss, the flat OA truss, the flat prat truss, the pitched complex truss, and all these other trusses that you can see here. So, these options are available for anyone that is using Archicad to be able to use them in their three models when they are building, or rather they are building the models for their project. Let's say your project requires you to have something else, or rather an, an exceptional design, a design that uh, is custom based on uh, the specifications that are given to you by your client or rather maybe your structural engineer that the, has, has made some design and specified uh, you have to do a custom uh, modeling. So let's say you have uh, this type of a truss and what I will do is uh, I will show you the first step in that process of creating a custom truss and the first step is to be able to create a 2D representation of that truss using a 2D documenting tools and I will use the line tool for that matter. So I will go to document, documenting tools, and I will choose line tool and the line tool is active. I will come here and uh, draw a line that is 4200, that is 4.2 meters. And then I want the pitch for my roof to be 22.5 degrees. So let's say I will come and grab this arc tool. Then from here I will click. Then I will place it on that point. I'll be able to type negative 22.5 that is the degrees and click enter so that way I have formed the angle for this uh, point then from this point I'll do the same thing now this will be a positive angle so I'll do 22.5 then click on enter and go back to my line tool then from here I'll draw that line up to that point and then extend it. Then I'll draw the other line up to that point, select it and extend it using this stretch tool or rather the, the stretch command. I'll stretch it until it intersects with, with the, that other line and then I'll be able to delete this. Mm segments. 
what we have now is our truss. Let's say we have uh, this member running down at the center, which we call the king post. Then we introduce some other members here. Yeah. So just follow along. Then we will be. I will show you how to do it. So after you uh, you have uh, introduced these braces and the king post, select all all these lines and then mirror them so I want us to right click select move and then select this option of mirror a copy and what that does is it produces a perfect reflection of the lines that we have selected to that other side of of, um, of the truss and I want the lines up here to be blue so I'll select them and uh, I'll click on the settings dialog for the line tool and I want the line to be solid line so if you can see this pen tool the line pen click on this then you'll be able to access all these uh, pen options that are there so we love that as blue and these ones I will put them as a uh, let's say I want to put them as red then the bottom one will be black so that is our truss let's say we want to know the dimensions for this is called the ceiling joist. So go to document, documenting tools, dimensions, then I'll grab this point and this point, then double click to the outside, then move the line to place it, and I would also take dimensions for this uh, other point. So that is our truss. And that is what we have right now. Uh, let's say I wanted to know the angle, whether I represented the angle as intended. I'll click on this point. Sorry, document, documenting tools. Radial dimension. And from here to here. angle dimension tool select this point and this point and we have the angle as uh, 25 degrees this is the correct representation and the angle is 22.5 degrees you can see maybe based on the the test settings which i have not looked at it uh, the angle is rounding itself off to 23 degrees think if you go to options element attributes sorry not element attributes but options project preferences and you go to dimensions you can be able to see the settings that you set for the dimensions and right now I'm using a uh, angular dimensions the unit is decimal degrees and I have my decimals as zero let's say I change that to one decimal place and click OK you'll be able to see this one update to 22.5 uh, degrees so now we have a uh, our 2D representation of the trust that we want to create and the next the next um, step is to highlight all these lines so I will use the arrow tool select on all this area then deselect the dimensions and after selecting them I'll go to design and uh, um, 
design extras truss maker and I'll choose create truss and when I choose create truss you will see this uh, pop up that is uh, the truss maker settings and the truss maker settings is asking us for the settings or rather for specific uh, dimensions that you want to put for our truss and the types of construction materials that we intend to use if you look at this we have three construction methods We've, we have timber construction we have all our section which is a uh, steel construction and we have rolled steel profile and the first one I want to choose timber construction and then under attributes floor plan and the model attributes I want this to be as it is and just to confirm the truss is a structural uh, member it, is, it should be under structural bearing layer so this is correct and when I go to the next uh, button I, be, I will be able to see that we have the different uh, pen sets and the different pen sets we have this as a width and height which is a specification of the cross section dimensions for the members of our truss and so we have 100 by 100 timber we have 100 by 100 as uh, the braces and the ceiling hoist and so when you are satisfied with these settings you click on ok and this is going to save the truss as an object and this object is going to be saved in our projects embedded library so I'll call this trust 01 I'll click on save replace and then from the floor plan you can see a new truss has been created the one that is highlighted with the dark dots and the green lines so if you go to the 3d view you'll be able to see this is what we have be able we've we have been able to come up with and so that's that's just one uh, type of a truss so we'll go to the next so I'll, I'll, I'll drag this and place it on this point then we will repeat the procedure so select these lines deselect the dimensions go to design design extras truss maker create truss and this time round I want us to select all of steel sections and when you go to truss profile you will notice that initially we add width and height as as our as our cross section dimensions and this time we have a new parameter that's that has been introduced and this parameter is the thickness now this is the thickness of of the truss of the steel members because as you can see here as you can see the the the, the thumbnail for the hollow section we notice that it is hollow in the inside so I want us to come down here when where we have the profiles and I'll choose the first one then click OK and I'll call this truss 02 save it in the embedded library for this specific project click on save and a new truss has been created and when we go to the 3D view you will notice not very much different from the other one but if you cut a section of this one you will notice that uh, we have a steel uh, truss in place let me just show you in a while let's go back drag this to that position select everything go to design design extra truss maker create truss then and then i'll select this um circular all of section 
click on OK. Name this as Trust03. And then when we go to the 3D view, you'll be able to notice that we have some uh, change in the type of, of, of trust that we have. So that's it guys. The last the last bit is to create is to create uh, let's go to design roof uh, design extras trust maker create trust so we want to create a rolled steel profile so let let me select a rolled steel profile and have all these dimensions in place now you see the steel junctions has, has been activated and i will come under junctions i will choose with junction plates geometry i will use midpoint of bounding and then when joining two and eight core points i will say use junction plate and click on ok and call this trust 04 save so when you go to the 3d view as always you see this is the all of steel rolled steel uh, profile sections that have been created you can see the junction plates you can see all the jointing in place and this is very much detailed and it's a very nice way of uh, modeling your project so up to that point i hope you guys have uh, learned something hope you've picked uh, a skill from this video and you will go ahead and practice it and you'll be able to come up with the uh, different types of trusses to suit your needs and requirements that is the end of the video thank you for watching and if you've not subscribed please consider subscribing to my youtube channel if you have found this video helpful give it a thumbs up like it share it with the friends and families and leave a comment below in the comment section and i'll be glad to connect with you thank you and i'll see you in the next video cheers